In this video, I'm going to do a quick overview of all the important tools you need to know getting started in Canva. So let's go. Okay, I have logged into Canva. This is the interface that you will see when you first log in. There's a free version of Canva and a pro version of Canva. I am using the pro version of Canva today. You get access to a lot more templates, assets, and some more AI tools available in Canva Pro, but the free version has anything you could ever imagine. By the way, they are always making edits to this home screen. Your home screen may look a little different than mine. If you want to get straight into creating design, let's go to this create button on the top left. This box allows you to determine the size that you will be designing at. So you can search for specific size or platform that you are looking for. For instance, if I want to create something for Instagram, you can just type in Instagram and you'll see all the sizes that are available for Instagram. There are many predefined sizes here on the left. You can also type in a custom size. Let's go to Instagram posts. That's what we're gonna jump into today. So this is a blank design canvas. There's lots of design options that you'll see on the top and left. Right at the top, you can name your design. I like to name my design right at the beginning so you can always find this file at a later date. So I'm just gonna name this something like test version 0.1. And on the right, you can also click the share button. This will get you to the download. So you can download your designs directly from here. And we'll do this again once we have a design in our file. All right, let's look at the left-hand toolbar. There's a lot of cool design tools over here, starting at the design tab. This is where you can search for templates directly in your design file. There are lots of free and paid options in here. So anything that is a pro only feature, you'll see this little crown at the bottom, but there are lots of free Canva templates available to you. So we'll just pick a template and I'll show you how to make edits. So if you click on a template, it's going to drop it into your design space. And if I hover over this and start clicking around, everything in this template is editable. So if I click back, we can also go to this styles tab. This has lots of predefined fonts and color combinations that you can try in your designs. So if you just click on one of these, it will change the fonts and colors of your design. So especially if you're brand new and you don't have an established brand yet, this can be a great place to just play around with design. If you want to undo anything in Canva, right here at the top left, there is an undo button. So I'm gonna undo all those changes I just made and go back to our original. All right, let's pop to elements, the next item on our left toolbar. This is any kind of visual element that you could ever imagine is going to be available in this elements tab. That's things like shapes, graphics, stickers, photos, frames and grids. These are shapes that you can place photos into, videos. So let's just pop into a couple of these and I'll show you how they work. So shapes, let's say I just click on this square. It will add a square to my design and you can actually type in this square. Up at the top, anything that you have selected in your design, you'll see this edit bar. This edit bar is specific for the shape that I'm editing right now. I can see the color. I can do some design edits like add a border or change the corner radius and make the corners rounded. I can also edit the shape. So I can change this to a circle or any kind of shape that Canva offers. Let's delete that. Let's go down to graphics, the next one in our elements list. So if I say see all, this is where you can search any kind of graphic you could ever imagine. So I'll search perfume bottle. This design that we chose looks like it's based around cosmetics. So perfume bottle, lots of different options here and different visual styles. So again, you can see anything that's pro only has this pro little icon here, but there's lots of free options available. So if you click into one, it will drop it into your design file. Lots of these graphics, you'll be able to change the colors as well. So if you wanted to change this pink to something that was a little more custom to your brand, you can. And you also have lots of edit options, like filters you can add to these and effects. And anything in this elements tab, you can hover over it. There's three little dots that appear. If you like this design, but it's not quite what you were looking for, you can come into here and say, see more like this. You can also add it to a folder or star it to save it for later. So let's say, see more like this and see what it comes up with. So it's showing me other cosmetics that have maybe a similar graphic style to the one that we've chosen. So that's really cool. And there's also some filtering options that you can choose. You can look for graphics with specific colors, specific orientations and free and pro. All right, let's stay in elements and we're gonna go to photographs. So scrolling down here, say see all. And this is where you can search for any kind of photos that you might want. 
Let's do perfume bottle again, see what it comes up with. There are thousands of stock photos in here. Lots of free and pro options to choose from. If you click on a photo, it will just drop it into your design. I'm just gonna move this to the side. If you have a template that has photos in it, you can easily click and drag and drop them into the predefined photo spaces. So I'm just pulling a few of these into our design to show you how this works. Now with photos, if I want to edit this photo, I would double click into it. This allows me to move it around inside this box. I can also click and drag the side to make this larger or smaller. Let's drop a different photo in here just to show you more editing options. So I'm gonna drop this just on top. And if you want to resize a photo, all you have to do is click and drag the sides of the photo to change the crop. And up here in our toolbar, you can see lots of editing options for this photo. So if I click edit, there are filters. The Magic Studio has all kinds of pro photo editing features like background remover, Magic Expand, Magic Edit, and more. You can also adjust the colors and the brightness contrast in this adjust button. There's this really great auto adjust button that just brightens up the colors for you, which I love, and lots of other photo options here. It shows you the colors that are used in this photo. You can change the corner radius of the photo, so add rounded corners. You can crop it to a specific size, flip it, and change the transparency. Okay, so that's photos. Let's go back to elements and look at frames. So frames, again, these are shapes that allow you to add photos inside of them. So let's click see all. You can do basic shapes, you can do devices, this in here. So let's add this one. And if we went over to elements and found a photo, we could drop it right into that photo space, just like that. So again, we could double click and position this photo if we needed to, but delete that. Anything inside of Canva, if you want to resize it, you can click and drag it like this. And actually let's add a new page. So we're not overwriting this. I'm gonna say add new page right there at the bottom. I'm just gonna paste this in. If you right click this graphic, you have lots of editing options here. You can copy and paste, you can duplicate. I'm gonna say duplicate. And let's say you wanted these two to be aligned with one another. So if I hold down shift, I can select two of them and I can click position. And this gives me lots of alignment options. So I can center align these. I can also left align and then layers. Let's pop over to this template one more time and check out layers. This template has lots of different design elements inside of it. And it might be hard to select some of these. Like let's say you wanted to change the color of the shape that's behind the 30% off. It's really hard to actually click on that. If you go to position, and then layers, I can find this shape right here in the layers panel. And what are layers? They're essentially design elements that are sitting on top of other design elements. So if I wanted to actually move this around, you can move it on top of elements in the design. Now that I have this selected, it makes it much easier to make edits to the color and all of that kind of thing. You could also select all the text elements and change the fonts all at one time. And speaking of fonts, Let's make some changes to these fonts. To change a font, all you have to do is click on the text box and you'll see text editing options at the top. Here's the font. And here you have tons of font options. You can search for a specific font or a style of font. There's also some predefined styles right here that you can choose from. There are tons and tons of free fonts and pro fonts. So you can see pro fonts have the little crown next to them. If we wanted to make changes to this font, we would just click a font and make that change. You can change the font size right here. You can also type in a size. We can change the font color. So if you hit text color, you can find the colors that are actually present in this document are right here. There's some colors that it's pulling from the photographs that I'm using. So you can see those here. And if you want to choose a color, just click it and it will change the color of your font. You can also search for colors. So if I like pink and I really want to use more pink in this design, it will show me color palettes with pink in them. And let's say you want to choose your own color. You can add a new color by clicking this add new color button and you can change this little slider to all colors of the rainbow and then move this little dot around to change the value. You could also type in a hex code or pick a color from anything in your design. So if there's a color in one of these photographs you want to use, you can pick it. Back to the font options, there's some formatting options. You can do uppercase or lowercase. You can also change the spacing by clicking this. You can do different line spacing, so the space between your lines of text and letter spacing. 
You can change the transparency of this font, add text effects, so drop shadows, background colors, etc. And this little copy style button, this actually works for lots of things in Canva, not just text. So if you really like the style and you want to copy it and paste it somewhere else, it will copy and paste that style. Okay, so color, let's talk about that a little bit more. If you choose anything in Canva, like a shape or a background, you can see some editing options at the top and color is one of those options. So let's change the color of this little background. So same thing, you can either have no background or you can choose a color. So another really cool feature of Canva, this is a pro feature, but this brand tab over here, this is called the brand kit. And this allows you to save all of your brand information in one place so you can easily apply it to any template in Canva. So for instance, these are my brand colors and my brand for Knox Family Farms. I can easily pop in one of my logos. I can change the colors of this whole template just by shuffling through my brand colors. You can add fonts. You can use the AI writing tool for Canva right here. And then you can pop in brand photos that are just saved in my brand kit. Uploads. This is a place you can upload anything into Canva from your computer. So you can upload images, logos, any kind of file you want, images, videos, and audio. These are the types that it will take. There's also a draw feature. So you can draw on your design. You can do post-it notes, all kinds of cool stuff here. And projects. This is where if you save anything into a folder in Canva, you can save and access it right here in a design. So for instance, I have saved some graphic elements in this Knox Family Farms brand guide folder. And so some of my images, for instance, I can just pop into my design. And if you wanna save anything into a folder, like this template, for instance, if you wanted to save this for later, you could go to file, move to folder. You can also do that with elements. So any of these design elements, you can click on the three dots and say add to folder. Okay, lastly, if we are finished with this design, we would want to download it. So we'd hit share and then click the download button. Canva is going to suggest a download file type for you, but you can click this drop down and choose any file type you want. Typically, if this is something for social media, like this Instagram post is, a PNG or JPEG would be perfect. I'll just leave that at PNG. There's some pro features here. You can change the resolution and the size of your graphic, which increases the quality. You can also download something with a transparent background, like a logo file. You would not want a color background behind a logo file. So you can hit that to download transparent backgrounds. And then you could choose which pages in your design you actually want to export. So I just want that page one where our design is and click done and then download. And I'm opening my finder window and you can see it downloaded and here's my file. And it actually used the file name that I put in here for the downloaded file. So that's great. It helps with being able to find this file on my computer as well. So that's a quick overview of all the tools that you need to know to get started in Canva. I have some free Canva templates that you can download at the bottom of this video. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below and subscribe to Cry Studio for more Canva and graphic design tutorials. Thanks so much.